So this is a continuation from our previous exercise that we had. Remember, we were calculating uh, the sizes of these letters that we are given, the small letters that are indicated there. Using the properties of our straight lines, we talked of uh, everything. So make sure that you go through the previous exercise and also the introductions. All right. So on question number 18, we are given some of the letters there. That is the letter C. Right, the letter X there and the letter Y. These are the letters that we need to calculate. So we just need to figure out which one is easier and how can we apply the concept of the parallel lines as we are given. All right, we can um, calculate the angle at C. It's a, a direct angle using the concept of angles in a triangle. All right, there we're just going to use our normal concept angles in a triangle remember they do add up to 180 degrees so you can consider that one uh, angles in a triangle there are so many ways that you can calculate angle c so meaning to say angle c can be calculated by just subtracting all these angles that we are given uh, that is from 180 degrees we subtract the 46 degrees which is at uh, j2 and also the 32 degrees we subtract these angles from 180 degrees since angles in a triangle they do add up to uh 180 degrees so that is going to be uh 102 degrees that is to obtain uh the angle at c or we could have used this way uh as we can see from the concept of the parallel lines this line and this line are parallel and there we are forming a Z. Remember the concept of our alternate angles. We are forming a Z. We are forming a Z, alternate angles. So meaning to say this angle at this point is going to be uh, 32 degrees also. So then we are going to obtain uh, 32 degrees from this angle that we are uh, given. That is an angle of 32 degrees. So how are we going to calculate the angle at C? The wall of this angle combined here, we can, this one, the wall of this angle combined, this one. The wall of this angle, which is angle C, which is angle one and angle two combined together, the wall of this. And this angle C, they are supplemental. Why? We are forming uh, the core interior angles where we are forming a C or a here like this here. These are core interior angles. They are core interior angles. So when you say the wall of this angle and the wall of this angle at C is supposed to give us 180 degrees. So we are simply going to obtain the same thing. C is equal to 180 degrees minus these two angles because they are combined at one point. So you subtract these two angles. As you can see, we are still having the same thing, 102 degrees. So that is our C was going to be 102 degrees. So many ways that we could have used to calculate that angle at C. All right. Uh, what about any other angle? How can we obtain angle X? And also, how can we obtain the angle at Y? All right. We can consider these are parallel lines. Uh, that is this line is parallel to this line. So there we can consider a Z being formed like this. We are forming a Z, alternate angles. Remember, alternate angles are equal. So the wall of this angle formed here and this angle X is equal. So meaning to say our angle X is simply going to be the sum of these two angles, uh, 46 degrees, and the 32 degrees. So that is the sum of these two uh, angles that we are given, which was going to be 78 degrees. So X was going to be 78 degrees. And from these parallel lines, again, that we had before uh, from the parallel lines that we indicated here, we are going to see that they we are forming corresponding angles. Look here. We are forming an F like this. That's an F here. That we are forming. These are 
corresponding angles. So angle X and angle Y are corresponding angles. So that's Y is going to be 78 degrees corresponding to angle X. Those are corresponding X, which form uh, F. And we said corresponding angles are equal. All right. Number 19. We can calculate angle X there. We have got parallel lines. And uh, from this point A, we are forming a Z. Alternate angles again. All right. So let's see. I don't know, guys, it's my network or what is happening. This is just law. All right. Like this. That's a Z. Alternate angles. So meaning to say this X will be 45 degrees. Remember, alternate angles are equal. So X was going to be equal to 45 degrees alternate to this 45 degrees. Okay. And also we have got um, this angle of 2Y that is at this point here. And this angle of 2Y minus 80 degrees. I want you to see what is happening here. These are parallel lines, which is true. Look what is happening. What is it that we are forming? That's an F from this point to B from this point to D like this, we are forming uh, an F where we can consider the corresponding 2Y to this one that is outside. But this does not work now to say this 2Y and this one which is outside because there is nothing here, okay? So what you can do is to consider this as the core interior inside like this. You do not consider it as an F like that. You consider it like this, C angle. Remember core interior, the ones that form a C or a U shape. There we are forming a C like this. Look here, that's a C that we are forming or a U like that. So these are co-interior angles and we do understand that co-interior angles, they add up to 180 degrees. So there we are going to form an equation now to say this angle 2Y plus this angle of 2y minus 80 degrees, it is supposed to give us 180 degrees because core interior are supplementary. So there we are now forming an equation. It's no longer a straight question. To form an equation, then you have to solve for y. Remember your equations. So let's solve for y. That's 2 plus 2, which is 4y is equal to, we can take this minus 80 to the other side it becomes a plus 80 degrees there. It was a minus. The moment it jumps the equal sign, it will be a plus. So that's 180 plus 80 degrees. So 4y is equal to the sum of these two. That's 180 plus 80, which was going to give us uh, 260 degrees. Okay. Divide by four both sides to remove this four. That is divide since you are multiplying. Opposite is to divide. So that was going to give us uh, the value of y, which is 65 degrees. So sometimes you formulate equations like that, that you need to solve from a statement, which is true. When I'm saying a statement, those are the theorems. Now, the alternate angles, co-interior, uh, whatever that you're given, it can form an equation from that statement you solve. So it must be true. When I'm saying the statement must be true, you must be using what is mathematically proven from what we talked about, about these parallel lines. All right. That was the same concept that was happening here. If you are to consider, we cannot calculate anything here. We are not given any angle. But look what is happening. These two lines, they are parallel. And there, this time, we are forming a straight F. There we are going to consider corresponding angles. Remember? That's an F that you are forming there. So this angle at uh, P1 and this angle at R1 are equal. Remember that, guys. Whenever you form an F like that, they are equal. These are corresponding angles. So meaning to say this 3A plus 30 degrees, it is equal to 6A minus 60 degrees. It's an equation. They are equal. So you form an equation where you can solve for A, all right? So I can take this 6A, the moment it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a minus. So that's 3A minus 6A is equal to, already there's a minus 60 there, which means I'm going to take the 30 degrees this side. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it changes its sign. It was a plus, 
So it is going to be a minus this side. So that's minus 30 degrees. 3 minus 6, that's minus 3a, is equal to minus 90 degrees. You subtract minus 6 to minus 30. Then we can divide by negative 3. By negative 3, that's we are obtaining the value of a. So that was going to give us uh, 30 degrees. So wherever we see a, there is a 30 degrees that we are having there. Wherever we see a. So meaning to say this angle, which is written as 3a plus 30 degrees, 3a plus 30 degrees. If I was to substitute the value of a that I obtained, it was going to be 3 into, in place of a, you substitute the 30 degrees plus the 30 degrees that you are given. All right, 3 times 30, that is 90 degrees plus 30 degrees. So 90 plus 30, which is 120 degrees. So it means the wall of this angle here is 120, which means the same thing. If you're to substitute here, you're going to obtain the same 120 degrees. Remember, these two angles are equal. Okay, so we substituted this value. So I want you to try substitute the same value of A here. Uh, that is going to be 6 times our A, which is 30 degrees minus 60 degrees. You are supposed to obtain the same 120. And thus, we can determine the value of D. Why? Uh, in this case, we can use the concept. All right, let's start uh, with this one. I think this was a Y there. All right, let's start with this one Y there. Vertically opposite angles. So if this is 120, this is going to be also 120. Remember, vertically opposite angles are equal. All right, so you can consider that. If you are to consider uh, this other angle, it was going to be 120. Uh, this one at this point uh, here, sorry, at this at this point here. Yeah, this one. This one is going to be 120 from the vertical opposite, but that is not given, so there's nothing to consider. All right, so that was letter Y, this one, which is 120, which is fine. We can also calculate this one, which is C. From which concept? From these two lines, which are parallel, these ones. We are forming a C, like this. That's a C, like this. What is it that we are talking about there? Co-interior angles. Whenever you form a C, these are co-interior angles. And we do understand that co-interior angles, they add up to 180 degrees. So C was simply going to be 180 minus 120 degrees, which is 60 degrees. All right, so that's our C here, which is 60 degrees. Then we can calculate our D. These two lines are parallel, which is very true. And there we are forming a Z. Whenever we form a Z, these are alternate angles. So if this is 60, therefore D was going to be also 60 degrees. So this is how you answer these questions. Sometimes you have to form equations that you need to solve uh, from the statement, which is true. Like I said, it must be a geometrical concept that you are using there. How can we calculate the value of A? There is a geometrical concept that we can use angles at a point. Remember from our introduction, I said angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So we can form an equation by adding everything that we are seeing here. A plus 20 degrees plus this A plus the 210 degrees. We are supposed to obtain 360 degrees, a complete revolutions round a point, angles round a point. Thus, we have an equation that we are supposed to solve. So we need to solve this equation. So I want us to consider there, we have got our like terms, A and A. These are like terms. Also, the numbers there are like terms, the numbers on their own. So you can add the part of A. Remember, this is the same as 1A, and there is 1A. So 1 plus 1, that is 2A. 20 plus 210, that was going to be 230 degrees, which is equal to 360 degrees. We want to solve for A, so we can take the 230 this side. It becomes a minus. Remember our equations. So it's going to be 360 minus 230 degrees. It was a positive. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it changes its sign to a negative. If it was a positive. So there we need... The difference between these two. So 2a is equal to what? 360 minus 210. 
and that was going to give us 150 degrees. Divide by two, since you are multiplying here, so A was going to be 75 degrees. Thus, we have calculated uh, the value of A. So if A here is 75 degrees, we can calculate the value of B. These are uh, from the alternate, I mean, uh, from these lines that are parallel, we are forming a C like this. So B and A are co-interior angles where we form a C. Co-interior angles, they are supplementary. So we can calculate B. B is equal to 180 degrees minus 75 degrees. That is what we are going to have from the co-interior angles concept. So each and every part is guided by a theorem. So that was going to be 105 degrees. We can also determine uh, the angle Z, I mean the angle D here from the parallel lines. There we are forming a Z. There we are forming a Z. So angle A and D will be equal to 75 degrees. So D is equal to 75 degrees. And according to the same parallel, I mean, according to these two parallel lines, there we are forming an F. Look, there we are having an F. And these are corresponding angles. So A corresponds to angle C, which meaning to say they are equal. A is equal to angle C, corresponding angles. Remember, our F angles, this one and this one, they are equal. So that's it. Number 22, you are given uh, letter A and letter B. So which part that we can use here? All right, if we are just like extend this line like this, just extend a little bit, we are going to see that or notice that even without extending, guys, just look here. We are forming a Z. Look, that's a Z. Alternate angles using this line parallel to this line. That's alternate angles. We are forming a Z. So what is it that we know about, uh, about alternate angles? They are equal. This angle and this angle are equal. So you can form an equation from there. 2a minus 31 degrees is equal to 50. You form an equation from the statement, which is true. This angle and this angle, mathematically, they are supposed to be equal. But this one is an expression. So that expression is equal to the 59 degrees that we are seeing. So we can solve for a. So 2a is equal. Take this to the other side. It becomes a positive there. Thus, we are going to add uh, 31 degrees to the 51 degrees that we are seeing, and that was going to be 90 degrees. So 2a is equal to 90 divided by 2 divided by 2. That's obtaining the value of a. So this was going to be uh, 45 degrees. So if a here is 45 degrees, it means we can calculate even this angle, but we are not worried about that uh, because we just need the letter there. The letter that we are given is a. All right, what about b? From these two lines, which are parallel, remember this line is also parallel to this line. Angle B and A, they are co-interior. We are forming a C there. So these are co-interior angles. So when you say simply subtract from 180 degrees, co-interior angles are supplementary. So we're going to subtract the 45 degrees from 180 uh, degrees. And that was going to give us 135 degrees, the concept there for interior angles. So each and every part, there is a reason behind that you are going to use to calculate whatever that you are given. The mass and this are equal. It must be supported with the properties of the parallel lines. Is it about the corresponding angles? Uh, is it about the alternate angles? Is it about... Uh, whatever that you're given there, is it about the core interior angles? The statement is supposed to be begged up with that mathematical statement that is an equation. When I'm saying a mathematical statement, I'm simply talking of what? An equation. So you form an equation, then you solve that equation when it is necessary to do that. So these are some of the typical questions that you must expect even in your typical examinations they are going to ask questions of this nature. So that's what we had, guys, from MedZone African Motives. Till we meet again.